The nerves supplying the sensation and movement of the larynx originate from the vagus nerve via the superior and the recurrent laryngeal nerves. Now on the model, we can see the recurrent laryngeal nerve. The recurrent laryngeal nerve comes off the vagus, it arches down into the thoracic cavity and actually approaches the larynx from below. The recurrent laryngeal nerve supplies sensation below the level of the vocal cords. If I turn this round to show you the level of the vocal cords, it supplies sensation below the level of the vocal cords. It also gives motor to su supply to all the intrinsic muscles of the larynx, apart from the cricothyroid muscle, which you can see here. The other nerve supplying the larynx is the superior laryngeal nerve. The superior laryngeal nerve divides into the internal laryngeal nerve shown here and the external laryngeal nerve, which we can't see on this model. Now the internal branch of the superior laryngeal nerve supplies sensation above the level of the vocal cords. The external branch, which we can't see, comes around anteriorly to give motor to supply to the cricothyroid muscle here. This is another view of the larynx. And just to orientate you, here is the tongue, the hyoid bone, the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, and here we have the tracheal rings. And on this model, we have the thyroid gland. If I turn the model around on the posterior aspect, here we can see the epiglottis. And this space anterior to the epiglottis is called the vallecula, where you will place the blade of a laryngoscope on laryngoscopy. Here are the retinoid cartilages, and these projections are the corniculate cartilages, and these projections are the cuneiform cartilages. This is the view we get on laryngoscopy. You can see the base of the tongue, the epiglottis, and again the fold called the vallecula. Posteriorly, we have the retinoid cartilages. Here are the corniculate cartilages. And these projections are the cuneiform cartilages. And looking down into the glottis, you can just see the pale vocal cords.